hi there in this video i'm going to show you how to create a wedding calendar with corel draw like this and this is coming up it's not a game it's a yeah speaking to you is your instructor dennis if you are new here please subscribe to our channel or if you are old thanks for showing up again continue watching our videos so these are the resources i'll be using for this design i'll be using these resources which i downloaded i will send a link to your description panel where you can get these resources now let's go to Corel draw first i have to create a new document i have to create a new document here i'll use a to size that's the first step you take whenever you are designing you create your size first now i'll open this double click on this shape so you can get this right click on right click here so you can take off the outline and fill it with white and now import my photo Now it might not be this same photo. This design can be done on any method or any photo you want to use. And when designing a wedding calendar, your wedding calendar must have a tag line. And I would like to use a tag line like this. Lucky in love. You can let me know your comments on which tagline you would have loved to use when designing a wedding calendar. Just have to display my text in a very nice way. I will use Paramount Lucky in Love. I will change this to a uppercase, and this is Gisha. Make it bold, and here I have my Lucky in Love display. So I will like to fix it here okay so now I'll shift it back and give it a white color okay now if you observe this other one is not coming up very well so I'll group everything and add contour it's now fine and my contour color i will make it green sorry now if you press ctrl k ctrl k to break off your contour so i can manipulate this contour anyhow i want it I uh, want to transparent the contour. Click on your transparency tool and here uniform transparency. And you can in decrease or increase the transparency. And that's fine. Then I would like to add a shadow on the main text itself. can increase the transparency of your your shadow 
decrease the faders of your shadow at least 9 while transparency 74 so now that is my wedding calendar tag line so i'll add this here now i've already customized this calendar but in my next tutorial i will show you how to develop a calendar with corel draw as you can see we are almost done now bring this in here This was downloaded from a graphic design website. Check the description to see links where you can download this. I want to give this a white background so i can apply my text now i activate my pen tool and move around the ornament i call resources like this ornament you can adopt the same language You watch, I'm moving inside one of the, the outlines, or should I call it the shapes? Ctrl Z when you make any mistake. Here I am. Now I'll add white color and use your keyboard to press control page down to send it behind. And this is my ornament. Now here I will give the couple names Helen with Henry. And I'll break it like this. Remember we use Faramount. In one of our tutorials I told you when designing use only two fonts. Okay, control K to break text apart so you can easily edit it differently. While this is 36 this should also be 36 and the weight should be smaller than this okay 14 is okay make it bold and And change the color to red here. Now I will add the date of the wedding, which is June twenty twenty twenty. Bold and also use red. Now, these are the main information you would like to add in your wedding calendar. Now, next thing is for you to 
let people understand that this calendar is calendar for 2020 you can do something like this before editing any node you have to curve your shape so i press ctrl q on your keyboard to curve your shape and now activate your shape tool click here and press on shift while editing this so it will be on a straight line like this if i leave my shift key you can see i can move to anywhere but activating my shift key i will go on a straight line and i'll use white here you may decide to make designs like this to add extra creativity to your work use white here and click on the white select your 2020 and give it another color wow why it's not showing up is because the text is behind this shape so to bring the text upward you press ctrl page up on your keyboard and this is it now you have your nicely looking calendar in most wedding calendars they do add couple um courtesy so let me add courtesy here Assuming the courtesy is from the bride's family. Remember to keep spaces around your design. That is why you have to use guidelines when designing at least space of one centimeter away from the edge of your design. And what do you observe in this design? I used only two typeface to finish up this design. And this is the most important information needed. In other calendars, you can add more pictures than this. You just need to know how to display them. And this is the end of this design. You can always add this design in a mock-up where you can display to your clients. Thanks so much for watching this video. Bye.